In my last video, I was soaking up the sun under an old tree. This was a free camping site by the south entrance of Joshua Tree National Park in California, just off Interstate 10 and Junction 168. There's lots of great spots to boondock, and a few with a little shade. The trees were old and twisted into a variety of strange figures. This one looked like a Chinese dragon, sitting on its hind legs with a little tail wagging in the back. Nearby, I found a tortoise shell, minus the tortoise. Its scales had fallen off in the hot desert sun. Even in death, nature has a beauty that has to be appreciated by those who stop to admire it. At dusk, the I-10 in the distance was a string of pearls gliding across the desert in constant motion. But that tranquility didn't last. Well, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's a nasty windstorm out there. It's the kind of winds that make people with A-liners nervous. You know, there's been stories about the roof coming off and all that which I don't really think is gonna happen, but uh, when it is a real vicious wind like this, uh, it can be a concern. I have it braced, and I also strapped the outside, so, uh, and I've also got insulation here to just stop the, the draft, because it'll just blow right through. I hear that. I'm gonna open the door, if it doesn't take my arm off, and. Uh, Show you the trees. I'll give you an idea of how windy it is. That's the full moon behind those shaking branches. Under morning light, I could show you my wind strap, which was just a ratchet tie down across the roof from the tongue to the bumper. Easy, but effective. Now that the wind died down, I could do a little exploring on my bike. So I went around the campground, but one thing that caught my eye was this little trailer in the distance. Well, I'm in the desert in California and driving around on my bike and I found this, a tag. I've never seen one. And this lady here whose name is? George Mann. She's a tagger. Is that what you call yourself? Well, I, it's a little guy, tag, and this is the small version. Um, so it's only a thousand pounds. Does it come with the hula hoops? It does not come with the hula hoops, Definitely but you can like make that. those. Well, I like it. It's round, just like the wheel. <laughs> You can, maybe you can paint your wheels just like the hula hoops. That would be fun. Cool. <laughs> That's for exercise. But you're you exercise, you camp in, in an awesome little and a very compact trailer, and you're an artist. I'm an artist, and I live. I've been living on the road for three months, more or less, and um, I have my studio, so I can come out and do art in nature. Well, you're going to have to show me a little bit about your art. I would love to do that. Awesome! I always appreciate new ideas, and George's creations were truly unique and original. They're called Jungian sand play figures, something I've never heard of but was fascinated by and eager to learn more. She uses the back of her trailer to paint them in the calm, tranquil surroundings of the desert. So how did you find out about all this? I started with tarot and um, kind of just be an interest in symbolism basically and um, I studied vibrational healing in the 90s and I didn't want to work on people so I put the information into the art and then the Jungian sand play therapist found it 
and they expanded that. So it's now Jung, Jungian sand play theory. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit f familiar with Carl Jung. Mm -hmm. I, I studied his uh, his dream. Uh, theory. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that's about as far as I got with Carl Jung, and it's no relation to Neil Jung. Just in case no, you're thinking, no, not that. Neil Jung, <laughs> not Neil. Uh, that's just so intricate. It's just amazing how you can put all that detail in such a small package. Yeah, they're etched with a dental tool first. So you start off with your clay, mm -hmm. and you 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 heat them up. Well, I make the forms and then yeah. I fire them once. Yeah. And then I bring them out and I paint them and then they're fired again and then they get a gloss glaze and they're fired a third time. Uh, and so this is the most fun part, but it's the most So just time just consuming. getting to this point, there's a lot of preparation and then you get to to do the uh, the fine detailing and the coloring. Yeah, and then it's my friend who used to help me paint. She said it was like waking them up when we put the line color on, because then you get to see all the details pop uh, out. They turn into like a coloring book, um, and then they're all etched with world symbols that that have lots of symbolic meaning. Um, you know, like for grounding, for chi, for energy, for cycles of the moon, phases of time. See, this is the part that just totally blows me away. You're not just creating something that looks beautiful or whatever your artistic sense is at the moment there's true meaning to every color and to every detail that you put into these there is and the Jungian sand play therapist um, developed a process that took that recognizes the power of the image and yeah, they do yeah. they do they collect images for work in a, a tray of sand so they need physical concrete images I started doing nurturing fathers and, nur and images that would feed the psyche in a positive way the basis of it is that the unconscious will uh, you'll be attracted to images and then working it in the sand it creates a safe space to let it go but they don't have to necessarily talk about it and I think that's how it works is they don't have to have the the verbal communication skills to say what the issues are they're going really basically by their their instincts by their by their subconscious yes that's just so incredible yes and it was nice because they understand the power of the image and when they found my work they thought I knew more than I knew about the academic side and what all the symbols mean because to me it comes from the intuition and it pours out so I just try to capture it like an artist you know I'm painting I'm drawing it's just a process it all comes out and they my background is a bachelor of fine arts so the painting and the drawing and stuff was really natural to me I just find it fascinating that images are so powerful in our psyche and yeah. people don't realize it and I killed my television in 1985 <laughs> and um, you know it worries my kids grew up without TV and I think that this pounding of these negative images into us it's no wonder everybody's all freaked out and anxious about the world oh, I know. Um, so I try to counteract that by staying away from that and creating images that are life-affirming and that try to open us to new perspectives if um, I'm feeling anxious I try to go into the shadow aspects of um, you know what's going on and just try to dig around and I make stuff and then I feel better yeah and so this figure is one of the most popular ones and he's called introspection this one here mm -hmm. and he was one of the first 26 that I started in the late 90s and he the nice thing about working with the sand play therapist and the play therapist is that the shadow has such value uh, most people tend to go away from their shadow. They don't want to get into this dark stuff that hurts. So, so much of this has got such a sense of meaning. It's not just art for art's sake, but how do you interpret beauty into something like this? Well, I think that beauty in life is a positive vibration, and I think any time that you do things that feel good and enhance beauty in the world, then you're building a better future. So I like to go out and make, I focus on uplifting images and colors that personify the more positive aspects. They carry emotion and they carry a beauty 
like out here it's really beautiful oh, out it's here. gorgeous i mean a lot of people would look at this inspirational and go, just being is. out here it is that's why i come to the desert that's why yeah. i bought my tag trailer and that's great because you've got the kitchen and all the appliances in the back you've got a, a bed inside and of course she's using solar panels which is another big bonus um, that's my favorite thing about the tag is that it came solar ready and it was fantastic. it was cheaper to buy solar than a generator and I took out my air conditioner and so now it runs everything the solar does this is fantastic and you've got enough you're generating enough energy to power your cooler to your lights for charging your batteries my um, my laptop I mean not my yep. laptop my um, phones my cameras everything it does everything and so the only other thing you, you need is propane for cooking propane for cooking and the, these little tags are made super well insulated they're super sturdy I highly recommend them they're you know it's a great starter as a single person wanting to try this um, in theory I've had it for three years and it just gets better every year so a tag if you've never heard of one look it up definitely recommended easy to carry around not very expensive if you don't need a lot of stuff this is all you need talking to Georgia Mann was both inspiring and uplifting such a creative person but it was time for me to let her get back to her work so I zipped off on my bike to do some exploring on my own Joshua Tree National Park awaited me well I hope you enjoyed this and please stay tuned for the next part of my adventure. Always go where the road takes you and please subscribe.